Number 74, letter A. What is the characteristic time constant of a 25 millihenry inductor that has a resistance of 4 ohms? So this is relatively straightforward. Time constant here for an RL circuit is going to be equal to the inductance divided by the resistance. So I need to know the two. The inductance is always measured in henrys. They told us millihenry, but we're going to need that in henrys, so simply take the 25 and multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. Then uh, the resistance here is 4 ohms, so that's good. There's nothing to do there. And we're simply now going to take out the calculator and uh, plug it on in. So this is going to be 25 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by then 4. So this works out to be about 6.25 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. That's the time constant now. All right. That takes care of letter A. And let's move this back. All right. So letter B. If it is connected to a 12 volt battery, what is the current after 12.5 uh, milliseconds? All right, so we will assume that it is starting in the off position, right? And if it is starting in the off position and then it is turned on, we're trying to find the current after 12.5 milliseconds. What we need to do is we need to use this formula over here on the right-hand side. This is the formula to find the current at some point in time after the circuit's turned on, all right? This could be it to find it after it's kind of turned off, if you want to think about it that way. So what I need to do here is use that in that formula, that the current at some particular point in time in the future after it is turned on is equal to then the initial uh, current, right? Or the maximum current, actually, uh, multiplied then by 1 minus e to the negative uh, time over the time constant. All right, so this is technically not the initial. That's really the max. All right, we have to think about it that way. So... What I'm going to do is uh, we are now going to take this and we have to find the max current, right? So the maximum current here is going to be, we use Ohm's law to find this, right? The, this is the voltage. This is the resistance. We know that V is equal to IR. So the current here is going to be V over R, right? So what I'm going to do here is plug in for this. I'm going to plug in the voltage of 12 and the resistance of 4. Then it's going to be 1 minus e to the negative t. So how much time has elapsed? Well, they want to find the current after this amount of time. Right? But that's in milliseconds, so you know, you know we need that in seconds. So there's going to be 12.5 times 10 to the minus 3. And then you've got to divide it, as it says, by the time constant. Now, the time constant was 6.25 times 10 to the minus 3. And if you notice here, the way this is working out is the 10 to the minus 3s will cancel. And this works out to basically be 2. Okay, so you can simplify it on down if you like, right? 12 over 4 is going to be 3. And then there's going to be 1 minus now uh, e to the uh, e to the negative now 2. Okay. And let's see what we get. So this is going to be now 3 times 1, careful with your parentheses, 1 minus then e and I did the wrong e, whoops, e, uh, raised to the minus 2. All right, so this will be about 2 point now, 2.59 amps. And that's that. Guys, thanks again for tuning in. I hope that helped. I look forward to helping you with more problems. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.